for the Lord set him up to be that because the word cherub means mighty one the Lord set him up to be that mighty one that covers he covers everything that's what the Lord said that in these days now he was going he's going to set his men up pretty much to take away that covering that was set up on, on, on all these different nations he also elevated the woman over yep. the man yep that's right and then here's a, a plain example, example. life-giving mother whatever happened to the father I thought, I thought that the, the spirit or rather it was the spirit but the flesh the, the sperm comes from the father that's right so why why what is what is what does he mean by life-giving mother okay. this is an example of him elevating the woman over the man that's which right. destroys the family that okay. was their plans from the beginning. Their plans was to destroy the family. That's why they set up the women's lib movement. There it is, to brothers. Separate the woman from the man. <laughs> there it is, brothers. <laughs> Alma mater. You know, why do you say pater mater? Yeah. Or, right. Or alma pater. Or alma pater. Right. So like pater. It, that, that's what I should have, Yeah. That's right. Rather, he says alma mater. Yep. Yep. Life given mother. And we know, those of us that know the truth, we know that life comes from the Father. That's right. Okay, the scriptures speak about the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. That's right. Not His only begotten daughter. But this is more evidence that He's the anointed cherub that covereth, covereth right. the truth. All right? And uh, He's the devil. Okay, and right. right here in the, uh, one of His uh, instruments, so called uh, <laughs> Columbia University. University. That's Go right. ahead, brother. It says, thou, the, uh, thou art the anointed cherub that covereth, and I have set thee so. That was upon the holy mountain of the Most High that has walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. I have said thee so. So basically the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, gave the so-called white man the power to do what he does, which is to be the devil. That's right. right? And now if you notice, if you look at, at the statue, she has uh, on the uh, left side of her, which is our right, that you see it like a light. You know, it's a light coming up out of the, of the chair. And that pretty much re represents the Illuminati, you know, the, the demonic light of, of the so-called white men, because they know the truth. And what they have done is they, they, they've lied and, 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 and turned the truth into a lie. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they pretty much lied. So they got, they got the light now. They know the truth because they got the records, but they have lied. So that's their enlightenment. They're the ones that are enlightened. On top of their head, I'm sorry, guys. No, I was going to say um, uh, it's a good time to bring out that scripture, Thou shalt not uh, usurp authority. Yeah, because this is a clear-cut uh, case of uh, authority uh, being usurped over the man. That's right. That's tra straight up feminist movement. Oh yeah. Wow. Uh, this is uh. And as you can see, brothers, in the back, while he gets the scripture, you can see uh, the library of uh, Columbia University. Time. Right. All right. That's right. And then that that uh, that, that staff in the, on, the, on the on the right hand side of it with the crown on top. Pretty much that represents the crown of, of uh, England, because when this was set up, if you read up the top, this this is called this is called the King's College, which is one uh, King George. I'm not sure if it was King George III or one of the kings, mm -hmm. you know, because the authority of America uh, rests on on on, um, on England, on authority of England. No, it says it says it right there. It says King's College, founded in the province of New York, by royal charter, in the reign of George II. Second. Second, okay. King George II. Right. All right. This is. Yet uh, they have a woman. Uh, they have a woman sitting there, portraying. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Portraying it because that just shows you, man. We, you know, we got other scriptures too. This is um, uh, First Timothy, two and uh, eleven. Mm -hmm. It says, "Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection, but I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man." Yeah. So a woman was never really meant to be put in any position of authority. Right. As a matter of fact, the word woman is from the Latin meaning servant. But here we see a clear-cut example of Esau bowing down to the woman. Right. So much so uh, labeling her life-given mother. That's right. It says, uh, But I suffer not a woman to teach nor to use her authority over the man, but to be in silence. But to be in silence. Go on. For Adam was first formed, then Eve. Mm -hmm. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Right. And that's going back to uh, Eve. Okay, because the, the Bible clearly says that the woman is the weaker vessel. That's right. Right, so life-given mother, that's that's total madness. Yeah. See, the only job of the woman was basically to nurture the, chi the children up, you know, mm -hmm. and teach them, you know, nurture them, nurture them up from the from 
from a certain age, but then at a certain age, the man would be put under tutors, and he would be learned under tutors and governors, you know, to be set up, you know. And those tutors and governors were men. That's right. You they know, women. That's right. You know, and, and for the purpose of, of, of giving them the right, the right direction. Tutelage, yeah. You know, because a woman can't give you the right direction because a woman doesn't deal with logic. A woman deals with emotions. Yeah. You know, so that's why the majority of men today are, 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 um, are, are based their decisions that they make on emotions. Yeah, and, so and not, emotional, and yeah. not rational. That's right. Not logical. That's right. Which the, the highest form of logic is, comes from the scriptures. That's right. You know, the, the holy scriptures, essentially this truth. And that's one of the reasons why you're so black, you so-called black men, the men of the tribes, rather, why you're so messed up in the head. Yep. Because uh, pretty much we've been a nation <coughs> raised up and ruled by our, our, our mothers, and right. our women. And again, here's another example. Yep. All my mother. And you know what this was heavy too, is you look on top of a head, those are the, I believe those are the rosemary leaves. Yeah, I was just looking at them. On top of a head, which that goes back to what? To Rome. Rome. You know, because the Roman emperor used to wear that, you know, around their head. Well, here we have the uh, Roman numerals. Yep. And then we get a shot of that. Roman numerals, uh, what is that? Uh, M, uh, M is 1,000, D is 500, C is 100. Yep. So that's uh, 18, 1,800. 1,800 and, uh, and uh, 60, 67. I believe it's 1,800. 1867, okay, in our uh, Roman numerals. So uh, we're going to move around, walk around, and see what else we see. Uh, we're here at GMS Apostles, at uh, Apostles of GMS, rather, at uh, Columbia University.